Right now, our main efforts are at keeping people out of the hospital, and if they're in the hospital, getting them out, getting them out sooner. That's the real threat to Guam, to our community, is overwhelming our healthcare system, and in particular, uh, our lack of uh, adequate bed space. Dr. Berg and the Physicians Advisory Group continue to urge the community to get their COVID shots. Although people have seen lots of uh, non-vaccinated people in the hospital, they're not as sick, they get out faster, and the resources they use are less. So. We want to strongly encourage people to please come and get vaccinated, and when those booster shots become available, to take advantage of it. He also responds to criticism of the governor's vaccine mandate, a mandate that prompted his predecessor, Dr. Hoa Wen, to step down. None of us want, and that includes the governor, I can absolutely say this, want to take away anybody's freedom. The effort is simply to protect those who could end up in the hospital and get sicker. It's a fine balance, and we recognize that. And as I said, the effort is not to increase mandates, it's to decrease them as soon as it's good for the public health. But for now, um... one thing Dr. Berg says they're not considering as of yet is a total lockdown. Because we think that the measures we're taking and the ones we're going to take will continue to keep the, the number of cases to as low a number as possible. The numbers may be high, but if we can treat them with Regeneron, when those who are symptomatic and do things to get people out of the hospital will be okay. Berg believes that COVID and its variants will eventually become endemic, meaning a disease regularly found within the community. He says at some point enough will have been exposed and the community will reach a sufficient immunity level that we won't have to respond as aggressively to outbreaks. But he says we aren't there yet.